Welcome, Scoot class. It's Coach John here at Kennedy Skate Park for week three of scooters. Last week, we went over just the basics of pushing and balancing on our scooter. This week, we're going to put some style to it. We're going to learn manuals, bunny hops, and how to do a no-handed ride. So, hope you're ready. All right, scooters, let's get into bunny hops. You always want to start out small, but then move to things like they're around your house. Like for example, we have the cracks on the ground here. So that's what I'm going to focus on my bunny hop for. When we do a bunny hop, we always want to give plenty of space to where we're going to jump over. So we can give our two pushes, get in on our scooter. We're going to bend our knees, lift up, pull back and jump up and bring that scooter right with us. For our second trick today, we're going to practice our manuals. Manuals, there's two ways to do them. You keep both feet on your scooter and just pull up and try to hover that front wheel off the ground. Or you could do it with one foot off your scooter to try to help balance yourself. So I will demonstrate first with both feet on the scooter. You want to, again, give two pushes, but start out slow and try to lift that front end up. And if you start to fall back like I did, you could take that foot off to save you. Oh. Alright, so the last trick we're going to go over today is the no-hander rider. And it's a good one to impress your friends and family around the block. And it's good to start out with a slight downhill, but the object is to get your belly right up against your handlebars. So put your weight on your bars and then you can proceed by taking your hands off and help balance as you go down or on flat ground. Let me demonstrate one right here. All right, Scoot class, that's it for week three. So a little summary of what we went over and what you could always challenge yourself with, with the bunny hops. You could always stack things up or put distances in between and practice your bunny hops over and over again to get those legs nice and strong. With your manuals, you could do your one-footed manual and same thing, you can get some chalk or whatever you have at home and put marks down so you can try to measure how far you manual. And with the no-hander rider, it's good to get those hands off and try to move your hips to maneuver around. So then you can do circles around your friends and family with it. And they're really excited. So hope to see you guys again for week four. And have a great week.